Buenos dias, clase. Today we're going to look at conjugating verbs that end in er and verbs that end in ir. So we've been working with our verbs before. Remember when we look at a verb, for example, the verb comer o vivir, will be two of the ones we're working with today. And these two verbs have, um, they're in that's called the infinitive form. Infinitive. And the infinitive form simply means the unchanged form, right? It's the form that still ends in the ER, that still ends in the IR. It's the one that hasn't been changed at all. It's just kind of the same. And they're always to something, to this, to that. So let's look at the verbs we've already conjugated before. So conjugating is changing them. So if we look, for example, at the verb hablar. So up on the top here, we have the infinitive hablar. It's uh, still got the AR at the end. It means to speak. All of our infinitives always mean to um, speak. <clears throat> and when we conjugated our verb, we chopped off that AR, and you can see in the black we used able, which is our root for all of our forms. And then we replaced the AR with the endings. So for the yo form, we added O. For the tu form, as, usted, a, él and ella, a, nosotros and nosotras is amos, um, ustedes, when you're talking to a group of people, an and ellos or ellas talking about a group of people and an also so that's what we did with our verb that ended in ar <clears throat> but remember today we're talking about not verbs that end in ar but verbs that end in er or verbs that end in ir so let's look at so here is the verb beber so <clears throat> Our root, once we take off the ER, is beb. So I've gone through already and changed to beb, 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 beb. Um, because that's going to be the beginning of all of our words. <clears throat> so let's look at the ending. The yo form is bebo. Um, the tu form is bebes. The usted form is bebe. The L and the ella form is bebe. The nosotros form is bebemos. The ustedes form is beben. And the <coughs> ellos form is also beben. So you need to remember O, S, E, E, Emos, N, N. And whenever you see any verb that ends in ER, you can treat it the same way. So let's look at another verb that you have been working with before. It's our other word that we're using a lot in this chapter. And we'll look at the word comer. Do you remember what comer means? To eat. So first, I want you to go through and find our root. So what's our root for the verb comer? I want you to fill it in on your notes for all of the people. For yo, tú, usted, él, ella, nosotros, ustedes, and ellos. And then go back and add your endings in. So your endings are o, es, e, hemos, en. So I want you to go ahead and fill out the table for comer. Check your work to make sure that you have them correct and then move on. I'd like you to practice a little bit more and I want you to make three of our tables, one for each of the verbs here. So first, all of the forms of aprender, which means to learn. You're going to aprender to conjugate verbs and end in er today. Um, and make another table below that in your notes for the verb leer. And then lastly, for the verb vender. 
So pause the lecture and add in those three charts to your notes. Okay, I feel like you have a good understanding of the verb endings and how to treat a verb that ends in eh, ere. But I told you today we're also going to look at verbs that end in i, ere. They are a lot like our e, ere verbs, and that's why we're putting those together today. So, our first verb is vivir. Vivir means to live. And as you can see at the end, it ends in an IR, not an, an e, r, and it ends in an IR. Um, and so it's almost exactly like our um, e, r verb. So I went ahead, I took off the IR and added viv all the way through for all of our forms, and that is going to be our root. So we just need to add the endings on. So let's look at the endings for a verb that ends in IR. So... Yo vivo, tú vives, usted vive, él, ella vive, nosotros vivimos, ustedes viven, and ellos and ellas viven. So we have a lot of eh, 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 eh. A lot of repeats from what we saw with our verbo that ends in er, but our big difference is right here. The ir verbs for the nosotros form have an ending that's imos, vivimos. So here's our big difference from our other set. Otherwise, everything else in this portion is pretty much the same. <clears throat> so let's take a look and have you conjugate some verbs. I'd like you to add a table of conjugations for each of these three verbos, the IR. So our first, your first chart you need to add in is compartir, to share. Second one, asistir, to attend, like to attend a school. And the last one, escribir, to write. So add three tables to your notes for each of those verbs. Remember that your endings for each of these are going to be O, S, or E, E, Imos, N, or N. Okay, so your root plus the endings. So let's really quickly review our endings for our verbos that end in ER and our verbos that end in IR. The forma de yo for the person who is talking for both verbs is going to be o. The tu form, if you are talking to one person casually, is going to be es. If you want to be a little more formal, if you're talking to usted, you're going to add e. If you're talking about one person, él o ella, you're going to use e. Let's move up to the plural column. Here's where we have our big difference. <clears throat> we have for an ER verb, we have emos. But for our ER verb, we have emos. So that's where we need to really remember when we have that emos versus the emos. For the ustedes, talking to a group of people, we have en. And talking about a group of people, we have en. Alrighty, you're all done. Adiós.